welcome to the relaunch of Season 3 of Improv Theater. I am your host, the Weirdo of Weirdos, and it's great to be back after a, such a long, long wait. Of course, this is a special episode not just because of that reason. You see, this is also Garen and Autumn's goodbye show. So, goodbye, Garen and Autumn. You may not have been with us long, but boy, was it a memorable very short time. And so, I have prepared a tribute in your honor. Enjoy! Uh, this just in, it seems we don't have enough footage for a tribute to Garen and Autumn. Pity. Uh, what do we do now? Uh, oh, uh, uh, Jeff uh, went away recently and uh, I wasn't able to do a tribute to him. Alright, here you go Jeff, a tribute to you. reminded that I'm extremely angry at Jeff at the moment for goading me into jumping in the fire pit at the potluck last weekend. Those third degree fire burns still hurt. So yeah, I'm not, I don't know what we're going to do. I guess we can uh, 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 do a tribute to this, uh, this stapler. Yeah. Yeah, 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 enough of that. Okay. Tonight's story is about space travel. Oh, but just not anything about space travel. You see, being stuck in a giant tin can out in the middle of literally nowhere, that can be very isolating, even when you have another crew with you. And this isn't exactly a, uh, a new thing to fiction. Plenty of things have... Uh, pointed this out. Silent Runnings, 2001 a Space Odyssey, and that one episode of uh, Ren and Stimpy. You know, the one with the history eraser button? Yeah, that one. That one's about being isolated in space. I know the whole erasing history kind of took focus away from that, but y y that, that's what it was about. So yeah, isolation in space. It's not an easy thing. We are, of course, a very active species, a very communal species. We, we need other people, and not just one or two others. A whole environment, a whole community of people. And if that's taken away, well, strange things happen. You start to see things. You start to think things. Maybe the ship is talking to you. Maybe your friend is turning against you. Maybe there is no captain. Maybe it's all been in your imagination. That is the true danger of space travel. So what happens when you're gripped with space madness? Well, let's see what Idis has to say on that question. Hmm? Take it away, Rob!
Good boys, WWE. I'll take that. I uh, think I learned real fast, so we just moved into this space. Hey. Uh, something I learned, because every day like we're back, we're in our new space, we're, we're learning things, is that when it's, I usually used to come down the middle and start dancing and having fun, but I thought we'd put it out the back, but then I realized you can't tell where the end of the stage is. Oh. So, uh, Lesson learned. Exciting. So, that'll be fun. Very <laughs> exciting for all you people that play with us. Welcome to the Improv Collective! Day, very special day, something very, very, very important to me. Uh, I um, uh, we, it's, it's Ida's show plus Garen and Autumn's going away show. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Those two hooligans got accepted to college in Arizona. Oh. 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 And they are oh, such an over <laughs> and they are such a huge, incredible part of the collective. It, it's gonna be, it's gonna be very interesting running without them. It'll probably run better and more efficiently. <laughs> I don't know who's gonna do less. <laughs> uh, but no, and, and then Itis, as you, uh, it's a two-man team, me and Pearson Higgin, who uh, couldn't make it today because he's weird. Oh, so go on his yeah. Facebook and just tell him he's weird. <laughs> just say that on his Facebook. Just type the words, you're weird, and then don't reply when he asks like his weird piercing questions. My kind of guy. <laughs> I'll send him a letter. Yeah. So just do that. Uh, but today we're going to do something very interesting. It's called a pretty flower. Because we're Woo! Woo! people. Uh, we're going to get a suggestion, and we're going to do a really weird scene. And there's going to be a lot of cutting around and fun, because we're improvisers, and we make this up as we go. Oh, I haven't done this in a while. Does everyone know what improv is? Uh, yeah! Mixed reaction. All right, cool. Basically, we come up here and we have talented friends on the outside of the world who learn lines, blocking, have directors, and then we wish for them, but we're not. So we came to the Improv Collective and we do improv on the weekends. We make it up as we go. Uh, and then we'll do some short form. And then a fantastic uh, long running team in Orange County, Big Selfie, will be doing an aftermath Ooh. show. I said my team's name. Throwing that out there. Try it again. <laughs> so they're about five, five or ten minutes after this show. It's a free show. Yeah, anyone can hang out and watch a super amazing team. But let's just get on with this one. So I'm going to bring out the super talented, fun, and mostly people leaving the state people. But first, uh, guesting with us today, we have Chris Beal, everybody. Yeah. Chairs. Uh, we're gonna need a location for you guys. Oh, shit. The one thing Robert told us to do. <laughs> South Carolina. <laughs> What's a non-geographical location? Oh, Disneyland. South. Keep yelling stuff. Disneyland. Arizona State University. The slums. The bakery. Dragon's nuts? That's not a place. It's a little place. It's not a real place. No one can see it. Uh, gentlemen, what was your name? Brian. 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 Brian gave us a really fantastic suggestion. It is the space station. Oh. 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 Very fancy. Oh, look how popular you are. You're so boring. <laughs> Awesome. So we're going to be in a space station for this. You'll see weird cutaways. Uh, this is a pretty flower. Guys, have your warm round of applause. <laughs> is a giant window, kind of like the giant window on the Enterprise, and uh, there is a slight crack in it, like not enough that you're like scared, but enough that you're like, ooh, that's glass, we should replace it. Uh, right here in the corner, there is a massive screen, and it says uh, uh, Supreme Captain, and then uh, it can project like uh, their, their like, leader, and uh, talk to them. 
Uh, right next to the, the, that giant screen is uh, is another screen for a subordinate and, uh, and a big old keypad <laughs> and uh, just the person who's going to run things. But there's like soda stains and some, some snack food everywhere all over it. Uh, over here we have a panel of like sci-fi-esque random buttons that are glowing and like flashing warning signs, but it's all in Russian. So, and some of the buttons are missing. <laughs> Space Station! Don't look at me like that. Ricardo! Yes. <laughs> Done it again. You offended the ship. <laughs> it's got feelings too, you can't just press whichever button. It, <laughs> it talked trash to me first. You're whispering like the ship isn't all around us. Beep, 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 boop. <laughs> I'm talking so the Supreme Captain can hear us. Right. Supreme Captain Jenkins. Supreme Captain Jenkins. He's the best. He's the greatest. I love him. <laughs> oh, Supreme Captain Jenkins. I always Woo. pay my space dues. Ah, oh, ah. Oh. I pay so. I pay double space dues. <laughs> like, we love it. I'm like, ah, oh, I love. I love being in the ship so much. This is so nice. I'm gonna pay him again. So, that's cool. When do we get to go home? We get to go home when the leader says we get to go home. We've had this board here for months and we haven't pressed a single button. Okay, like, there's, they're gone. Someone's stealing the buttons. I really think it's Jacob eating them. <laughs> Just because they kind of look like Fruit Loops. Jacob has an insatiable appetite, first of all. But second of all, he's the only one that can read the board. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. We're, uh... Borgia. <laughs> They are different colors. I think fruit loop I eat, I mix with cow's milk. <laughs> right, son, this is the most important lesson in your life. Yes, father. Fruit loops or buttons? <laughs> buttons more colorful. I eat that nutrition. Slap of love, slap of love. Slap of love, slap of love. Fruit loops or ecstasy pills? Oh, ecstasy make me see more colors. I choose ecstasy. <laughs> <laughs> what? We don't need eject button. I eat. <laughs> the eject button? Yeah, we no need. We up in space. No floaty. <laughs> yeah. The window begins to crack more. I think we might need those escape pods soon. I did not eat window. <laughs> It's so tantalizing. I can see myself. Eat me. <laughs> I can hear it. Okay. Oh, oh. I'm undressing my window. Can you see right through? Oh yeah. <laughs> Take those drinks off. Oh. Take the drinks off. <laughs> but you thought about it. Only wear those eat uh, curtains. Huh? Or windows. Everything. <laughs> Either way. Either way. I think you eat window. I don't eat windows. <laughs> and the sickest burn of the year, window eater. Oh, oh, oh. Bag of money. <laughs> In my country, that joke kills. <laughs> Regardless of who eats windows or not, Supreme Captain's gonna get mad that we're not at her stations. Alright, I guess assume duties. Assume. <laughs> Supreme Captain's log. 
Sometimes you just wish they'd talk to you, not about you. <laughs>
do you exist? You're a captain. You're a strong, independent, supreme captain. You don't need no crew to validate you. Did you say my name? Do you exist, Captain? Huh? Shit, this is aggressive. <laughs> they can't see me, but I can see them. Guess not. He hasn't responded. Oh, how I wish I could. <laughs> I vote we worship ship now. What? <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. That's never worked. Uh, what? Yeah, so the, the ship is in Russian, so we, we should worship it, yeah? Man, I hate that guy. <laughs> <laughs> And if we follow your supreme command, will you fix the freaking window? Dun 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 I don't feel that way about it. Not like a Spotify playlist or something? I mean, sometimes I listen to that kind of stuff on my Pinterest. No. Bigger than this food, right? <laughs> <laughs> Nickelback will continue playing until you start paying attention to me. <laughs> We're listening, We're, ship rolling. Oh, okay, Nickelback dead. <laughs> Did the ship just kill Nickelback? <laughs> so, it, it's not all bad. <laughs> <laughs> We're listening, ship. Beep. This shit. I be doing this. What? I can rap. What you talking about? You're bringing the Italian thing back now? Dude, you agreed that wasn't cool. <laughs> I know we're all sick of coming to these meetings. <laughs> Every week. Some people in the whole wide world, that's me and the man in the moon. 